All right, so up next, we've been getting lots of questions about the indices. So I would like for Bill to kind of share how he goes through and does technical analysis and how his job is made a lot easier thanks to tokenmetrics. Okay, so let me uh, let me let me bring this <clears throat> bring this up here. Okay, so let's begin with this. Bull markets shift like it'll be the fast moving stuff that'll go first, and then it'll be the bigger things that follow. In stocks, it's like Russell two thousand in small tech and biotech. And then it moves up to bigger, bigger stocks like, say, Apple. Okay. Now, one of the things I'm seeing with token metrics is I'm over here in the top, top left, my top left, where it <laughs> says value investor balanced quarterly. Now, look at what I'm seeing. Okay. I'm seeing Zcash. Okay. Uh, Cosmos. Okay. Now, why is that important? Well, because Cosmos is up 28% is on a tear and Zcash is up 5%. Okay. So some of these cryptos that maybe nobody owns, right? Like everybody kind of forgot about Cosmos and then all of a sudden it's up 40%. Okay. And this to me is screaming that institutions and bigger players are starting to get involved. Okay. So, for you out there, I will look at some of these portfolios and then I'll just check what's going on on the screen, what's happening, right? So it's a great way to get a visual, all right? Now, I believe it or not, I used price prediction. I know everyone out there probably uses price prediction, mm -hmm. but I use it less often because I'm the human price prediction and I don't want to cheat. Sometimes <laughs> I have to look, it's great, right? But, you know, I like to do my work and then look at the computer. Now, what I like to use is just our old fashioned rankings. Okay. Now, a lot of times when Bitcoin comes to the top and its grade starts to go up, that can be constructive for crypto. Now, why is that important right now? Well, because this correction scared me, right? I'm going to tell the truth. I saw Ethereum breakdown. I'm like, oh, oh no. You know, we even talked about this in the BitBoy crypto interview. Like every time it's red, two or three days in a row, everybody has a flashback to 2018. Okay. So when I see some of the top coins in token metrics, okay, start doing well or start the grade starts to go up. Okay. I, I pay attention to that. All right. And then I also look at coin market cap. Okay. I'm going to have to switch off here and go to coin market cap. I thought I had it up. Okay. So, now, I know that this is overly simplistic, but sometimes people want to know, gosh, where do I start? You know, how do I, how do I figure this out? Well, okay, that's a fair question. So let me ask you something. Cosmos, which we like, if you look at our rankings, it's in our portfolio. You know, I won't read War and Peace to you, but it's now currently ranked number 16. So now, we saw what Chainlink can do. We saw it. Okay. Monero, a privacy coin, perhaps in an uncertain political environment, right? You know, Tron, like it or not, possibly a player, a DeFi network that could come online, right? Neo took off last week. So why am I sharing that? Because when you look down the market cap chart, sometimes you can compare that to what token metrics thinks. And if something is, I don't know, 25th on the market cap chart, but highly ranked or top five with token metrics, that's something that's worth looking at. You can start using your own filter and using the token metrics platform, but believe it or not, I try to keep it simple. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Well said. Well said. Right. So kind of, as you mentioned, being able to look at the token metrics ranking and see what cryptocurrencies are ranked higher versus their market cap can really give you really cryptocurrencies that we think have an edge. Cryptocurrencies we think are undervalued relative to their current market cap. All right. With that being said, tell us what you think uh, down in the comments below.